in this lab exercise we are going to look at uh, how to uh, enable IP for uh, for an interface see uh, I already had enabled this interface ENP 0 S 3 now as per my requirement I needed one more interface so I enabled one more network card for this virtual machine the second network card has those has got this name ENP 0 S 8 but it is not showing any IP here as you can see in the output from the if config command you can run other command also IP ADDR for example so how do we uh, set an IP uh, I must tell you that I have enabled DSCP for this virtual machine so I don't have to set a static IP but even if I have uh, I'm using DSCP but uh, this new card is not getting an IP so it is very simple we can directly run some commands also or we can edit uh, the related file so let's go into this directory slash etc sysconfig network scripts here we have interface configuration files if cfz dash ENP 0 S 3 because it is already present there you see original date means I had made some changes to this file so I took a backup of it first and then I uh, created this file now there is no file related to this ENP 0 S 8 as you can see here so that's a problem now what I do here of course we can create it uh, by using commands also but I'm going to create uh, the file from scratch by hand so cp if cfc that means interface configuration file enp 0 s 3 so if c f g dash now the new interface name is enp 0 s 8 now let's edit it we need to make some changes so we will change the name here Another thing is boot protocol already set to DSCP and on boot is set to yes by default it is set to no. If we had the file already present you would see on boot set to no. So you can change it to yes. We can specify other options also several options are, ava are available and uh, we can see them here in this file also and those are not uh, the only ones there are many as you can see let me clear the screen and show again you see IPv6 I'm not using and some other options I just intentionally deleted to keep things as minimal as possible now if I run if config command here you see the IP is not showing here I have not set any IP I am using DSCP but no IP has been assigned to this interface so what we need to do is we need to restart the network service so system CTL on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 8 newer versions you will use system CTL the earlier versions you can use service network restart so system CTL restart network manager let's see we don't see any IP yet did we face any problem sometimes we may have to re reboot the system also 
anyways. It is active and running. Say type before the first device or the second device. Okay, we are not getting complete information here, so we can say open L network manager state is now connecting. Okay. Here Okay Okay So something is missing for this file. Let's see. It is all good so far. Huh. Shall we reboot it? Let's do that. There might be some problem with the configuration in the VM. So in the VM settings here, I might have selected some options for the network so this bridge connection might not be working properly but let's see again see I have not created this problem intentionally in then creating this video I am creating this video to show you if I encounter a problem how I can troubleshoot it so the example here is a very realistic one let's see well it is not working as expected so Let's do this thing. Settings. Now let's reboot it again. The problem is with the uh, network configuration only on my system. But what we did about that configuration file was okay, was correct. I hit F2 to see the logs. Here we might notice something related to network services things look quite green so far okay this time we got the IP now I can try it So, new session. Why 
192.168.29.5 you see it is quite a different IP now because I want to connect this virtual machine to the internet I'm able to log in it from within my host operating system which is Windows. I'm connecting to this virtual machine through SSH and I'm using party or putty tool. Now I want to know if I am able to ping uh, google.com and I'm getting responses now. That means I'm connected to the internet now. So whatever activities now I want to perform, I can do that. Okay, maybe download something from the web or internet, which I can do now. So guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. As I told you earlier, I did not create the problem intentionally just to create this video I enabled another NIC or interface for this virtual machine and after that I started creating this video so that I could share the experience of the exercise with you anyways thank you very much bye bye